Hello, baseball fans, and welcome. We've got baseball on the show. It's the Detroit Tigers and the Boston Red Sox. Just about ready to go. Getting the nod on the mound. Tanner Howe. With the height, the release point creates a lot of tilt on his pitches. So coming into the zone, really hard for the hitters to get on plane. Makes it very difficult for the hitters to guess. And stepping in is the speedy Parker Meadows. The center fielder, Parker Meadows. And a pitch. That misses, and we're underway from Fenway. And the 1 0. Swings through that. Kelly just threw that fastball by him, elevated, and if you're not looking up in that location, very difficult to catch up to, especially with that velocity. Here's a 1 1. Just oh. missed. Two balls, one strike. Next offering upstairs. The pitch. In the air, right field. Verdugo running hard. And an automatic double as it hops the fence. He's in with a double, and that's his second double of the night. That was loud contact and a no-doubt double off the bat. I didn't know it was going to land in the bullpen, though, and he's really improving his accuracy out there. It's almost like he tried to do it. Spencer Torkelson up now for the Tigers. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. As a pitcher, you know the runner on second is ready to push things with his speed. A base hit's probably going to be a big run, so you really have to execute on the mound. And the righty deals. This one popped up. Number 47 on his way over. He's got it, and there's one down. And now up to hit, Miguel Cabrera. First offering, misses the mark. Righty to the plate. That one finds the corner, and it's a ball and a strike. Meadows, the runner at second with one away. Pitch misses there, and that's ball two. Runner leads away at second. That's to third. Diving! And he can't make the play. Here comes the runner. The throw's offline. He's safe. And it's 1-0. Comes through with the RBI. Got the top of the ball a little bit, but not much. That was hit pretty hard through the infield, so I think he'll be happy with that swing. Definitely generated some good bat speed. And next up for the Tigers, Kerry Carpenter. In there for strike one. Oh and one. Left hand batter waits. 
One one. Oh, he's really working him away this at bat. Sometimes take a little bit off velocity. Try to get a rollover, something on the ground. Stay away from that big hole on the right side of the infield. And he deals. And a count one and two. Right hander kicks deals. And a foul ball, he stays alive. And the right hander deals outside. They've got him working a little harder in this first frame than he anticipated. Still two and two after the foul ball. Left hand hitter waits. Spoils that one and it remains two and two. And the pitch. And a swing and a miss. Two away. It's a strikeout, but they'll be in good shape if they make their outs as difficult as that one. Those grinding ABs take a toll on a pitcher as the game goes on. And up next for Detroit, Matt Veerling. And a foul ball. And he'll won. Good eye in that oh, spot. No. The one two to the right side. Oh, can't pick it up cleanly, but in time, nice job to stay with it to end the inning. But the RBI single pushes across a run. And the home team down a run. You're dialed into the show. Back here in Boston, starting in this one, Eduardo Rodriguez. Well, Boog, he's the type of guy that you can bet on to give you quality innings most of the time he goes out there. Guy knows how to pitch. He's got good stuff. Sometimes it can be even plus stuff. First time through the order, though, I think that's going to tell us a lot about how he's feeling today and how he's going to settle into this ball game and attacking hitters. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. Here's Alex Verdugo. The big lefty turns, kicks, deals. And that's in for a strike. And a swing and a miss there. No balls, two strikes. He goes down looking. Wow, that's a tough call for the hitter, but the pitcher will take that all day long. Not quite in the strike zone, but he found a spot that the umpire is going to, at least for now, allow him to get that call. So hitters are going to have to make an adjustment, but pitchers are going to learn from those things and really try to exploit them if they can. Devers now. And Devers hits that one. Meadows under it. Squeezes it. And there's two away. Batting third, the third baseman, Justin. Here's Justin Turner. Turner. And the first oh. pitch misses for ball one. As a veteran out there on the ball, you're trying to establish both edges of the plate. Right here, he's working inside.
The one one is fouled off. Misses the and the counts even at two. It's a good take. Next oh. one misses and it's three and two. Masataka Yoshida to bat next. The wind of the pitch. Swing and a foul ball at the plate. They'll do it again. Two down, nobody on. Foul. We'll see another payoff pitch. Kicks and fires. And that one lifted in the air center field. Meadows moving under this one. Puts the squeeze on that one. And that'll do it. Red Sox go down one, two, three. They trail here, one nothing. New inning getting started, and here's the first baseman, Andy Abanez. The pitch that misses the zone, and it's one and zero. One ball, no strikes. On the ground to third, and it's through for a hit. Man aboard on the leadoff single. Didn't make quality contact on the ground ball to the pull side, but sometimes it's just a matter of finding the hole in the defense. And now here's a speed threat. Outfielder, Akil Badu. And fouled off. And a pitch. Time to check on our umpires. Earl Hendricks calling balls and strikes. Yeah, well liked umpire boot. Pretty consistent with his zone. So if you're familiar with him and how he works, you won't get too surprised by anything. Sometimes he'll give a little bit off the corner, but nothing too crazy at all. Swing and a miss struck him out. We'll take a look at the three pitch sequence here. Pretty simple in terms of putting them away at the plate. Once you're ahead 0 2 as a pitcher, you can really expand the zone and see how aggressive that hitter is going to be trying to protect and battle. And right there, clearly he was in swing mode, but all you can do is hope to foul that off. The batter now, Javier Baez. That's off the mark, and that's ball one. Ibanez leads off first with one away. Bounce to the right. Into the outfield base hit. Quick throw back in. Lead runner holds it second with one gone. Not much to this one other than just a willingness to go the other way and put the ball in play. That's a team at bat right there. Nice job of staying back and letting the ball get deep. Jake Rogers up now for the Tigers and a foul ball. Well all eyes on the double play ball in this spot. No better way to get out of this inning. One out runners at first and second. That one ripped. Devers falls it in for the out and there's two down. And now the center fielder, Parker Meadows. One for one with a double and a run score. Hit hard on the ground is short. And that is that. Tigers strand a pair. They lead it one nothing.
back here at the ballpark, bottom of the second. Here's the Boston cleanup hitter, Masataka Yoshida. You know, this is kind of a tough matchup as a left-handed hitter facing a left-handed pitcher. What you tell yourself is, I want to stay square to the plate, try to hit the ball over the shortstop's head. One and up. The 1-0. Popped up right side. Devonez gets under it. And out number one on the grab. Here's Trevor Story. And that's a little high. Next pitch is outside. One down, base is empty. Swing and a miss. And it's two and one. This guy's got such a good sinker. As a hitter, you've got to look up in the zone. If you look down, you're going to be chasing stuff in the dirt. Kicks and deals. Foul ball, another 2 2 upcoming. The wind of the pitch. And there's a ball. Three, two. Got him looking. Fastball to letters, throws him for strike three. Really good battle right there. And that final pitch probably could have gone either way. He was hoping he'd get ball four. Instead, the umpire rings him up for the backwards K. Will your Abreu up next for the Red Sox? Out towards left center, Badu sizes this one up. No trouble here, puts it away for the out. And that's the third out. Down in order go the Red Sox. They're down 1 0. Top half of the third inning. Now it's the second baseman, Spencer Torkelson. Hauk back to work. Right. In for a strike. Going one. Going one. And ball, ball one. Outside. Next offering Two way one. off the plate. And here it comes. Caught him looking for the K. Well, just couldn't pull the trigger on the fastball right there, and I don't think he was taking it, thinking it might be a called ball or anything. I just think he was flat out frozen. Did not expect that location, in my opinion. And here is Miguel Cabrera. Singled and drove in a run his first time through. That misses That's the ball. zone. Ball one. strike a sinker at the bottom of the zone going to count one and two one ball two strikes now fly ball to right center Verdugo gets under it brings it in and there's two down. The right fielder, number 30. And here is Kerry Carpenter. Struck out swinging his first time. Oh. 
That one's in there, 0 and 1. That's in there. Quickly in an 0 2 hole, you're going to have to give something up here in terms of power if you want to put the ball in play with any authority. Next offering misses. Yeah, the count one and two. Really good take, especially with two strikes. In the air, left side. Abreu on the move to the right. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. And that'll do it. Tigers are shut down there, but they're on top, 1-0. Back inside Fenway Park, here's Bobby Dahlbeck. The first baseman. Here comes a pitch. And that one just misses a ball and no strikes. Good eye right there. On the ground, and that's a fair ball. Carpenter to second, and he's there with a double. All over that one right there. Even though he was really late on it, he clearly barreled the ball because that one was ripped down the line. He had to be really short with that swing, not get beat by that pitch. Now a pretty big at bat coming up with a chance to even this ball game up. Number 47 up next for the Red Sox. And yeah, the pitch is in for a strike. And it's 0-1. These fans, they are ready to cheer about something. That's a strike across the top of the zone. He doesn't seem to like to pitch up. Hasn't offered on either one of those pitches. 0-2 count now. I think the guy's going to climb the ladder out there. And now the lefty fights that one away, and the count remains 0-2. And now 1 and 2. Dahlbeck leads off second with nobody out. Next pitch is outside. So the tying run at second. Still two and two after the foul ball. And this is inside. Connor Wong on deck for Boston. No outs. Runner on second. Got him looking. That's a strikeout. Here's the catcher, Connor Wong. And yeah, that's in there for strike one. And a pitch. And that one fouled off. The 0 2. And a good eye there. Man, oh man, I don't know how you take that pitch. That's as close as it gets. Swings and misses, struck him out. 
So back to back strikeouts now and they still haven't managed to do anything with the leadoff double. Yeah, Boogie, and you just don't want to get careless here. You've done a really good job to get two outs after that leadoff double, as you mentioned. And just got to execute your pitches, and it's a non-issue. Now it's going to be Alex Verdugo. That's in for a strike. Two outs and one in scoring position. Next pitch nope. misses and one and one. The one one is fouled off. Here's a one two. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Couldn't catch up to the heater. One hit, one left. Three innings complete. It's the Tigers one and the Red Sox nothing. Start of the fourth. Now the third baseman, Matt Veerling. And the right hander back to work. And there's the strike. Well, these Tigers showing great discipline at the plate, and patience definitely seems to be the name of their game in this one. He's only given up one run, but the starter's pitch count is starting to get up there, and that might be the best news yet for this offense. The 1 1. That one missed. You know, sometimes all it takes is getting to the next arm before an offense does any damage, and that might be the case today. Next pitch is inside. Now three and one. Swings and misses, and we're filled up. Generally, second, third time through the lineup, you want to be able to lean on those secondary pitches and command them. Looks like he's doing a nice job of it. Got him swinging. Tell you what, those are the types of guys pitchers really like to punch out when they're on the mound because if they get on, just the distraction that they create with all that speed over on the base pass, it could take away your focus from the next hitter, and that's the last thing you want to do is serve up a pitch that a guy hits over the fence, and it's a multi-run home run. When you throw a fastball by a guy like that, I imagine it's got to feel incredible. Look for him to throw it again at some point. Swing and a bouncer. Over to Dahlbeck. Two quick outs here in the top of the four. Two outs, base is empty. Here's the left fielder, Akil Badu. Struck out on just three pitches last time. First pitch doesn't find the zone. And that one fouled off. The pitch. Falling behind two and one. He swings and fouls one off. Two now. Just no, misses with that ball. one. Count is full. And he walked ball him. Four. Take your base. Well, a breaking ball in that 3 2 count kind of tells you that that's the pitch he has the most confidence in right now. Just couldn't find the strike zone. Now it's Javier Baez. One for one with a single so far. Strike one. Oh, one. Badu leads off first with two down to the inning. How picks over. Badu dives back in safely.
Another move to first. And he's back in that time as well. Here's the pitch. Run around the goal. Popped up. Number 47 on the move. Pulls it in on the run. And that's the inning. One left for Detroit, but they still lead it 1-0. Bottom of the fourth. Now it's Devers at the plate. Singing, you can't ask for anything more. This guy checks all the boxes offensively. He's the ultimate professional, and it doesn't just start at game time. It starts in the afternoon, the way he prepares and gets ready for the ball game. I tell you what, his teammates feed off of the leadership that he shows on and off the field. Going two now. Got him looking. Looks like he's picked up right where he left off. Oh, there's a three-pitch strikeout. He can do whatever he wants with the baseball right now. Turner climbs in on that right side. Flied out to center in his first at bat. That misses, and that's ball one. Breaking ball through there for a strike. Flips the corner, and it's one and two. The wide to kick the pitch. Swing and a miss, struck him out. Couldn't hit the fastball at the knees. Well, right now, he's in cruise control, autopilot, just dominating these hitters. It doesn't look like it's a fun at bat. And all of a sudden, you become in awe of this guy on the mound. Somebody's got to break this thing up. That's five straight strikeouts. Got to put a ball in play. At the play, Masataka Yoshida. Strike two. Well, baseball is coming out of his hand very well. He's been able to paint all four corners, but really good ride at the top of the zone. Hitters have to respect that. Very difficult pitch to hit. Left hand batter waits. Fights that one away. Still one and two. Really great change of speeds. He goes off the off speed to the fastball, and the hitter doesn't know what's coming next. Goes down, swinging for the strikeout. Slider got him for a strike three. Nothing doing for Boston. They still trail one nothing. And welcome back. Ready now for the fifth inning. Now here's the Detroit catcher, Jake Rogers. The pitch. That one not close. Ball one. That clips the corner. Ball to strike. Ball. Foul ball there. At the belt and fires. Bounced up the middle. And that chance handled. Now a jump throw. And the leadoff man set down in their half of the fifth. Well, he's doing a nice job of keeping the ball out of the air. Let's the defense work behind him with another ground ball. Good execution. And next to hit for Detroit, Parker Meadows. One for two. Pitch misses. One and oh. One ball, no strikes. Oh. 
And it finds its way through for a hit. So a man aboard now with one away. Everything came together for him. I really like that swing, man. He didn't just push it the other way through the infield. He drove it that way, and it kind of makes me think he was thinking opposite field as he stepped into the box, got a pitch he liked, and he got it done. And now they've got some speed on first, so we'll see if they try to get him into motion. Torkelson in the box now. No balls and a strike. With a move to first. Meadows back in on a dive. Another throw over. And he's back again. The 0 1. Now 1 and 1. 1 and 1. And that one is lifted in the air. Devers drifts towards it. He's got it. And there's two away. Now batting the designated hitter, Miguel Cabrera. Miguel Cabrera up now for the Tigers. One for two. He had an RBI base hit back in the first. Check on the runner. Meadows back on a dive. And first offering is fouled off. Meadows off of first with two away. Foul ball. Oh, and two now. And that's downstairs and outside. Hauk checks on first. Back standing. He's in there safely. Next pitch in the dirt. And it's two and two. And now it's filled up. 3 2, two out, runner on first. A lot of movement in the infield. Hitters got to stay focused on the pitch. Kerry Carpenter waiting to hit for Detroit. Payoff pitch. In the air, right field. Verdugo gets under it. And that is that. Tigers leave one, but they lead it one to nothing. here at Fenway Park. Now it's the shortstop, Trevor Story. All well, these fans definitely want to get involved in the game. All it's going to take is to get the leadoff man or even a base runner on. The wind of the pitch. And a strike. Good eye right there. There's a strike. Line drive, caught! Well, baseball can be cruel, can it? I mean, sometimes it gives and sometimes it takes away. He did everything right on that swing, but he's got nothing to show for it. And now it's going to be Willier Abreu. Flied out his first time. A little surprised we don't see a pinch hitter here with the lefty-lefty matchup. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. The guy's going this good. He's retired seven in a row. you got to step out of the box, fake bunt, do something to break it up. Home team down a run. Yeah, the home team trying to pull it out. That one misses. One, it's a ball and two strikes. Line drive. That's a base hit. 
And that puts the tying run on base. Oh, he throws it away. Only two hits allowed so far tonight, Boog, so I don't think that one will disrupt his momentum all that much. You know, he's really been on top of his game, commanding his pitches all night long. And now the first baseman, Bobby Dahlbeck, doubled in his first A.B. And things could change quickly here with one swing. If you're a base runner, you've got to stay dialed in here. Look for anything in the dirt. Try your best to get into scoring position. In there for strike one. Well, he's been incredibly efficient in this one. First pitch strike percentage over 70%. That's well above league average, and that's what's allowed him to pitch well up until this point. Tying run at first, the winning run at the plate. That drops in, plays it on a hop. Here's the throw. Throw comes in quickly, and the tying run forced to hold on at third with one away. A lot of hitters tell themselves, line drive over the infielder's head. That's what I'm trying to do. Just keep that approach simple. And right there, it was perfectly executed. On time with everything, and pulled it into the gap nicely. And now a crucial opportunity to tie up this game with another base hit. And now, number 47. The and the first pitch misses for ball one. So now with one swing, this guy could end it. But I think ultimately you want to tie him up, get the ball in on the plate so that he can't get the barrel to it and hit it to the outfield. And it is two and one. Tough spot right here, a couple runners on, two ball count. You can't nibble, but you have to execute and finish your pitch. If you leave something out over the plate, it's going to bring in some runs. The next offering misses, and that's ball three. Here's an opportunity to do some damage and perhaps unlock this offense. 3-1 count. Be ready to turn on a fastball. Lefty out of the stretch. Runners at first and third. Fly ball center field. Meadows makes the play. Runner tags from third to the plate. Safe. And we are tied. Productive at that for sure right there. Nice sack fly. Ties up the ball game. And now they've got to look for a way to go ahead. Connor Wong getting ready to hit. He struck out swinging at his first at bat. Fought off foul. Yo one. Swing and a tapper that rolls foul. No, there's a pitch we haven't seen in a while. It's going to be tough on the hitters if he can mix that in whenever he wants. Kicks and fires. And that's in the dirt. Well, with the amount of pitches that can end up in the dirt, a good secondary lead doesn't have to get away from the catcher. But if you're anticipating based off the... Struck him out looking. A run on two hits and they leave one. We're through five. All tied 1-1. One, one. in Boston. Start of the six, John Shelby with Chris Singleton. And leading off, Kerry Carpenter. How back to work. Rolled softly, but that goes foul. Deal one. And a foul ball left side. Way high. One, Bullpen activity starting up now. Zach Kelly getting loose out there. Murphy warming up as well.
That one to first. Dahlbeck takes it to the bag, and that's one out as they get the leadoff hitter in the sixth. Matt Veerling will hit next. Well, first base open. Really no reason to pitch to this hitter right here. Put him on, have the force at second first, perhaps getting inning ending double play. And takes low for ball one. In the infield at the corners, don't be surprised to see them come home first and prevent that run from scoring. They tried to get him to chase on a slider down and away. That one catches the zone. That's strike one. Tonight, his slider has been really impressive. I mean, tight spin. Seems like the hitters aren't picking it up out of the hand. And a pop-up. Right side, foul territory. Dolbeck pulls it down, and there are two away. Oh, that's a frustrating end to the at-bat for the hitter right there. I mean, that pitch was right down the middle. I think he got a little too excited, came out of his mechanics. And instead of driving that ball somewhere, he popped it off. Unfortunate for him. Ibanez, the next to hit, takes outside. Next offering is in for a strike. Cabrera on third with two out. And now two and one. Oh, look at the stop. Fires to first. On the money. Nice play. So no runs on no hits, no errors, and one man left. Top of the order due up in the home half of the sixth. All tied 1-1. One, one. Bottom of the sixth inning. So stepping in for Boston, Alex Verdugo. Oh, how he'd love to walk it off right here. And he deals. And there's a ball. the ball. Movement in the bullpen. Zach wow. Kelly getting ready to go. Murphy, a left-hander, also throwing. The 1-0. -oh. Oh. Struggled a little bit in this one. Couple of strikeouts earlier, but doing a much better job in this at-bat to get ahead and find a good hitter's count at 2-0. 2-0 to count. Here it comes. There's the sinker at the knees for a strike. And it really looks like these hitters have been in between with their timing today. Good fastball, excellent slider, but they've not been able to commit to one velocity and stay there. He takes it on his own. One away, bottom of the sixth. And it's Rafael Devers in the box. Went down looking on three pitches last time. Let's see if he can be a little more aggressive right here. In there, and it's 0-1. Well, we call that keyhole. Even though it's right there and looks pretty good, if he doesn't love it, he's not going to swing that early in the count. And he's down 0-2 as he swings through it. Then he really sells the changeup with that arm action. And the 0-2. Just That's off the basketball. outside part of the plate. One two. Sharp grounder. That's through for a base hit. The winning run crosses the plate, and the Red Sox walk it off. Well, you come to the ballpark hoping you'll see something special that day, whether you're a player or a fan. A walk-off win, nobody forgets that. A memorable moment that'll be logged in the backs of the minds of everybody that witnessed this here today. And your final score here today, 2-1. For Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show, I'm John Chomby. Thanks for joining us.